Cupwing tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the free online video editor called Cupwing and all its benefits. So let's get started. First off, you're gonna go on cupwing.com and you can just start editing your videos as is. You don't even need to create your account on Cupwing, so no more of those annoying emails. But I would recommend you do create your account on Cupwing because it makes your work a lot more efficient and it will also uh, remove the watermark that Cupwing does have. So you might want to create an account, but you don't really have to. You can just click on start editing. So this is the workspace of Cupwing and this is the editor basically. Uh, but I'm going to move on to my account and show you guys what the account looks like. So this is the Cupwing dashboard and you can separate your workspaces. And if you're working for other people, you can separate it based on your client or your boss. And you have other tools like studio, templates, collections, subtitles, audio, and many more stuff over here. So let's just click on new content. And we are here with the Cupwing editor. Now you can start with a blank canvas or you can upload a video. So let's just start with a blank canvas and you can see that this is just like a plain white paper. Now we are going to add stuff to it. Firstly, I'm going to show you guys the actual menu options that are present on the Cupwing app. So if you take a look at the left, you have your media, layers, text, videos, images, elements, audio, scenes, plugins, records, and templates. So if we take a look at media, you have your all media options. So all of the media that you have posted. And this is also a good option if you're keeping different video content for different um, projects. So it's going to separate it as well. So if there are certain media contents only listed for this, you can view them from here. Now, if you take a look at templates, you will see a lot of different kinds of templates. So you can see uh, from meme templates to professional templates, there are a lot of them available. So let's just take a look at the professional kind of templates and let's get started with a template. Now, this looks pretty good and we are just going to load this template on. Now you can see this is a general template and you are going to add your text and your logos and all that good stuff over here. Now, taking a look at how long this is, you can see it's around, this is the timing and it's around a four second frame. You can add more to it. So let's just drag this. Let's just go back to our media and maybe even replicate it once more. Now we are going to edit our text over here. So like you can see over here, this is like, you know, the basic company name or whatever. You're just going to take a look at the bottom uh, section of your screen and you can see this second row. It says innovative solutions, i.e. it's representing this selection of your video. You're going to click on that and then you're going to take a look at the right side where you can see edit text and you're just going to edit that over there. And now you can just click on the basic screen and now you're just going to edit it to whatever you might like. You know, let's just say the top lawyers of New York. And if you want to change the color, you can also do that depending on whatever you might like. You can darken it, you know, lighten the outline. You can change the font. Now I'm going to drag this text a bit to the center. I'm going to move it over here. And now you can just take, drag this white little line to the back to see what it's going to actually appear like. And then you can trim everything else accordingly. So. Just like that, you have your video and if you move it back now, if you want to change the logo, just click on it, click on edit text, and then you can add whatever you might want. So let's just say SS law firm, now edit it to whatever you want. Because this is a stock video, you can see place video here, but that's just, you know, because I'm using a stock video. You can even just put the text at the center and use stock videos provided by Capwing or cup wing and just you know make it work so if you take a look at the videos you can add more um, videos so let's just say we want to add buildings and you can see there are a lot of options so we want want it to be you know high rise tech stuff and now you can see i just dragged the building video and put it over here just after my video of my person ends and you're just going to trim that so just take a look at how long it is and trim it to suit whatever length you might want it to be. 
I just make it, you can see over here the timing. So from 1.8 seconds to 3 and 3.5 seconds approximately, we're going to have the building video. And then we are going to add some text on it. So let's just say we want to add header text. We're going to move it over here. We're going to shorten the text length to fit the building video. We're going to click on it. We're going to click on edit text. And then we are going to change our sample text. So let's just say best case results in the past decade. And just like that, you're going to add whatever kind of text you want. And then you're going to change the font. Now I'll make it look like this one. This one looks professional. Now you can also change the size of your text. You can also animate your text. So let's just say you want it to drop into our video or flicker or fade, whatever you might want. Let's just make it fade into it. And now we are going to go back and select our little 1.82, 1.82, extend that to 1.82. And now for your animation, you can add more effects. So let's just say we are going to add a reverse effect so your video is reversed. Um, you can also do that if you want. It's pretty useless in case of these kind of stagnant shots, but it could be a very cool solution if you're taking walking shots or shots of cars and stuff for them to actually be reversed. And then you can have your timing. It's easier to set the timing from just down below by just dragging the video out or cutting it. And now I'll show you guys how it looks like from the start. And yeah, this is just how easy it is to edit videos using Kapwing. And it doesn't matter what your skill set is, if you are previously used to video editing, if you have edited videos before, Kapwing is a very easy to use platform and it, you know, caters to all levels of expertise. So even if you're a beginner like me or someone that is very good at this stuff, it's gonna be a useful application for you at any circumstance. Now, I can't really um, make you guys hear the audio, but you can also add some audios. There are also scenes provided by Kapwing, so the building video I added, that's actually a scenery, you could say. And another thing is that you can set your canvas size, so if you want it to be in one ratio one, a video if you want it to be a 6 ratio 9 video, so a vertical video, a horizontal video, a 4x5 or a 5x4. So you can customize the size too, which is pretty good. You can also add a custom size. Now let's just make it a horizontal video. And just like that, you can export your video. And now you can download it, edit it, make a copy or copy the link of this video and add it to your Instagram, Twitter or Facebook and you have a watermark free video. So that is something very essential to note that the video you just created does not have any kind of watermark and a lot of the free online editors that are available uh, add some kind of watermark to your videos, which usually does not look very appealing. And for that purpose, I really love Kapwing. So it doesn't have any watermark. It looks gorgeous. It's fantastic. And it has a lot of templates. I would say you should definitely check out Kapwing. And I hope you guys found this video helpful and are able to now use Coupling to create your own videos and edit your own videos. And I will catch you guys in the next video.